know that the money is there, but too few people have applied. We have been told that an award to 15 people has been made, uh, 14 firefighters, and uh, another uh, professional who worked at the site. Uh, so tonight we are making sure that other people know that they can apply, and we are helping them learn how to apply. So that is the purpose of our meeting tonight. And first, I'd like to introduce my colleague in government, uh, Gerald Matthews. Well, thank you, Carolyn. Uh, it's it's uh, glad to be here at this occasion when we're finally uh, giving out, uh, we're not giving out, but <laughs> awards are finally uh, being given out from the Victims' Compensation Fund provided for by the 9-11 health care legislation as a DROGA Act. I have an interesting view. It took Carolyn and me eight years to pass the Zadroga Act to provide relief after 9-11. It took Congress 90 days to pass the Sandy Relief. So it's faster. Uh, of course, it's much slower than anywhere else, than, than for a disaster anywhere else, but it, it's faster. But nonetheless, it's about time that this money starts flowing. I want to congratulate uh, Sheila Birnbaum for doing an excellent job at uh, getting the money flowing, and the purpose of uh, today's forum is to explain to people how to access the funds, how to access the system, what to do, and to make it easier for them to, to be able to file claims and to help them file claims and complete them, because we really want to do, uh, have this legislation result in as much help as possible, as quickly as possible. It's been a long time coming, it's a long time overdue, and uh, we want to get, get it started more quickly. Uh, thank you so much, Jerry. Uh, we know that on 9-11 we lost almost uh, 3,000 lives, but since 9-11 thousands and thousands more have lost their health and in some cases lost their lives. So this particular bill was for those people who continued to risk their lives after 9-11, working on the site, uh, helping to rebuild, looking for others, trying to save lives. And it has been a long time in coming. We worked uh, many, many years on it. Uh, we want everyone to apply that is eligible. And the purpose tonight is for people to learn how to go through the system. I, I certainly want to thank uh, everyone who's here, particularly the leaders in, in labor that have helped us put this together, and Sheila Birnbaum for her, her outstanding work, and, and John Field for his outstanding advocacy. Uh, so it has taken way too long but we are thrilled that 15 announcements have been made. We want more to be made. We want the fund to get out of Washington and into the families' hands uh, that have suffered so that it is helping them. Uh, Sheila Birnbaum. Well, thank, thank you, you both. I, I don't know how to thank you on behalf of the Victims' Compensation Fund for all of your support, for all of the efforts you made to get the Zadroga Bill passed, but not only that, your support for the community and for uh, those in the various unions especially who have been so hard hit. And it's your support and your continued support of the fund and trying to get the word out. And I must say, uh, Congressman Mahoney was really the inspiration for getting this, uh, this, uh, this form going and uh, we are so happy uh, to have them both here uh, to get us off the ground one more time to try to assist uh, applicants in getting uh, the documentation and the forms to us so that we can expeditiously get them the money from the fund. So thank you so much for all of your efforts. And John, thank you for always being there as part of this community. And John, feel good. Can I, can I just uh, make clear one thing, and that is that uh, People are eligible to apply to this fund, both who, were, who worked on the pile, who worked on rescue operations, uh, sur and survivors who worked or lived in the community and may have been injured uh, simply by being there at, at the appropriate time. Not just rescue workers, but uh, uh, also survivors in the community. And uh, they're also eligible for this and should apply if they think that they suffered any uh, 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 injury because of it. John. Um, we're all here today to learn. We're all here to uh, be educated by Sheila and her, and her staff about the bill. Um, knowledge is power. Myself, the 9-11 responders, the lawyers, the elected officials, and even Sheila. We can all learn something from each other tonight. Everybody's got a lot of questions. 
um, and, and hopefully people will go home a little clearer in the mind of what's going on and where they're at. It's important that we all stick together and remember that this, this is a community and this is teamwork involved, uh, a lot of pieces, a lot of moving pieces. And it starts with the responder, the volunteer, the person in lower Manhattan, and then with their legal representation team, and then with the BCF and Sheila and Hus team. And it, it's important that everybody shares information. And that's, that should be the message tonight. But let's, let's not lose focus of why this bill was created. This bill was created to compensate and offer health care to those who are sick and dying or who have died from their exposure to the toxins at 9-11. This month alone, the month of January, three in the last 72 hours, we have lost nine 9-11 responders. Nine. I'm not making that up. It's all documented right here. Nine. Seven of them to cancer and two of them to respiratory. These people can't be here tonight to see the hard work of Sheila and the elected officials and the lawyers. So it's important to know why we're doing what we do. We don't have to agree all the time, but at the end of the day, if you do not put the responder or the volunteer or the person of Lower Manhattan before yourself and you're in the position to help, then myself and my team, you're going to deal with us. Thank you. Mm. Thank you so much. Very good. Very good. Valentine is here from uh, Labor. She may want to say something, but Richard Els is here from uh, the fire uh, fire department and from the, uh, the the fire officers and fire responders. And and uh, no one lost more lives. No one was hurt more deeply uh, than fire. Uh, they rushed into those burning buildings and, and, and lost on that fateful day. What was it? 348 people. Mm -hmm. 340. 343 people died that were firefighters or fire officers. And Richie has been there uh, at every single meeting and in every single advocacy. We're so pleased he's here tonight and that 14 of the award awardees are firefighters or fire officers that we have gotten the awards for. Richie. Thank you, uh, Congresswoman. Uh, Congresswoman Maloney has a habit of uh, calling the, the two fire unions, the uh, Uniform Firefighters Association and the Uniform Fire Officers Association, her twin towers. But I beg to differ with the Congresswoman because I look at Congressman Nadler and Congressman Maloney as, as our Twin Towers. They were, they were there right from the very beginning. No, it's, it's, it, it's true. And I know there was a lot of help, uh, you know, our Labor Coalition, the Feel Good Foundation. Uh, everybody really came together and really uh, did a yeoman's uh, work. Um, it's, it's, it's great to be here today because it was a long, long battle. But today is a good day. Uh, obviously, the choice of Sheila Birnbaum as uh, special master was uh, was brilliant. So whoever really gets the credit for that, uh, it's outstanding. <laughs> it's it, it's great. She has streamlined and navigated the difficult political waters and the red tape that's involved. Uh, on a sad note, uh, on Monday, the fire department lost a true hero, a true American hero, Lieutenant Marty Fulham, who, due to his work down at the Ground Zero. He was off that day. He responded and then remained down there for weeks on end, uh, succumbed to lung disease. In 2005, he had a double lung transplant. Marty was gracious with his wife Trish, came down to us, uh, down to Washington with us on numerous occasions to testify before Congressional and Senate subcommittee hearings. On his last trip down in the, uh, in the, the late days of 2010, as we were nearing close, he made another trip down, and it almost cost him his life at that point. Fortunately, in our group, we had Dr. David Pazan from the fire department was able to uh, uh, give him medical care, and, and Marty insisted on uh, testifying that afternoon. His efforts certainly brought us to this point. And, and again, I'd like to thank everyone for being here. I'd like to thank uh, Sheila Birnbaum for her extraordinary work and for our New York congressional delegation in particular, Congressman Nadler and Congresswoman Maloney. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I do, do want to say that on, uh, we are flying a flag in honor of Marty Fulham on, uh, on top of the Capitol. We hope to do that this week and we'll be presenting it to his, to his wife, Trish. He, he was really in many ways the, the inspiration and heart of the movement. He was at every uh, public hearing. He testified numerous times uh, before Congress. Uh, I, I know that we all worked to get that transplant and to help him and support him in any way. And 
our, our, our sorrow is deep and strong. So we miss him. We feel his spirit tonight. And uh, now our forum should begin. So, Susie. Oh, Susie. Susie, come on up. Where would we be without Susie Valentine? She uh, helped organize so many of the meetings, uh, brought people down to put a, a human face on, on the suffering of, of the victims. And uh, she played a major, major role of coordinating uh, labor. Many of the people who were injured were, were members of labor unions. They were there as police, fire, emergency medical, and many others, <coughs> along with the survivors, uh, the communities, the volunteers. Uh, the bill covers all of them. But Susie, we can't thank you enough. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, just very briefly, I want to thank everybody that's already been saying. But they really are the people that put it together, both uh, Congressman Nadler, Congresswoman Maloney. We would be nowhere without them. Um, and now the team that's worked together, both John Field, Richard Alley's, the building and construction trades, and so many of our unions. And we all do this because we have to have justice for the people that are sick and continue to die on a regular basis. We are all heartbroken that nine individuals won't be going home after this presentation today. Those are the people that would have been here tonight. And it's uh, with sorrow in our heart that we're here, but we appreciate everybody being here, and we will keep on fighting until the last person is taken care of. And we get both health care and compensation. So thank you, uh, uh, Sheila, for putting this together, and uh, let's hear what you have to say. Great. Thank you. I just want to say one thing before we get started to kill a rumor that's been going around. Sheila is doing this pro bono. So to the 9-11 community, mm -hmm. Sheila does not get a salary for being the special master. I hope this is making it clear. This woman deserves to be paid something with six zeros at the end of it, is doing this for free. Thank you. Wow. Thank you.